Well, today I'm back out here uh, hiking the Glenmore Reservoir Loop, uh, which also happens to coincide a little bit with the Trans Canada Trail, which I will hopefully sometime in the future take on, but that's going to be a, uh, a huge, huge undertaking. It goes from the top, basically the top northern part of Canada, all the way down to the most, uh, I guess you'd call southeast end of Canada. Um, yeah, this is a second time, second week around this loop. Last week I did it in two hours, 38 minutes. I'm currently 26 minutes in and I, uh, I started on the second half of the loop. Uh, I've actually walked this portion before, um, even before last week, but uh, what I didn't realize was that this whole loop uh, actually goes uh, pretty close to my house. It's probably, probably 15, 20 ish minute walk from my house, you know, like a seven minute drive sort of thing. Um, so I just drove down to the parking lot that is close to my house and started walking around it um, so yeah so this will be my second time around I'm going to attempt to uh, at least get close to the same record that I hold right now which is two hours and 38 minutes personal record um, I have a lot more in my pack this time last week I was carrying maybe 12 pounds or so uh, this week I believe I have probably closer to 20 um, somewhere in that area I've got you know give or take three days worth of food two liters of water um, a whole hammock system you know 200 quilts the hammock itself bug net the whole deal plus my uh, cook kit and my what do you call uh, evolutions kit hygiene kit I've got all that today so we'll see how it goes I've got my trekking poles with me but they are in the side pocket I'm tempted to do some more hiking without them uh, I was talking to uh, Lint uh, about well over Instagram I was talking to him about the use of trekking poles and how back when I was carrying you know 50 pound packs, 75 pound packs. I never once considered actually using trekking poles. Um, and then as soon as I got into kind of lightweight backpacking, um, the community, the go-to answer is, oh yeah, of course you need trekking poles. And while I do feel that they do have their place, uh, they do absolutely help with up hills and down hills, and, uh, traversing an icy terrain, you know, rocky terrain, mud, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I also feel that I was over-reliant on them. Um, so I'm going to attempt the next couple of hikes, and maybe even permanently, not using them. Maybe having one with me for those scenarios would be handy to have. Um, I do also use them for my tarp setup over my hammock. But uh, they're not really required. Basically, all I use them for is having a little bit more room um, underneath the tarp. Uh, they would definitely be handy if I ever had to go to ground and set up my tarp as an A-frame. But uh, I'm going to look into some other options. I know the, the go-to alternative option is going to be uh, find some sticks tied off to you know, a bush or something. Uh, so, we'll see. I'm going to try out a couple things and just see what uh, see what can be done. But for today, I'm just going to do the hike. See how far I can get. And, well, it's 15 kilometers around the loop. And like I said, last week I did 2 hours, 38 minutes with a give or take 12 pound pack. And uh, I've got double... Eh, Maybe a little bit less than double the weight today. I will uh, we'll see if I can't measure my pack later and find out what uh, 
yeah, so give or take double the weight or a little less and hopefully achieve the same time or very close to it. Uh, for those of you who don't know the conversion, I believe 15 kilometers is approximately 9.3-ish miles. So if I can do 15 kilometers and give or take two and a half hours, translate that into 30 kilometers in five hours, add another say hour for fatigue setting in, uh, maybe add another 20 minutes, give or take for lunch, stuff like that. Um, you know, you're looking at six and a half-ish hours for uh, approximately 20 miles, you know, 18, 18 and a half. They call it eight hours for 20 miles. You know, just kind of guesstimating. But uh, that is what I'm trying to achieve, is 20 miles a day uh, over, you know, approximately eight hours of hiking. Now, on the PCT, the terrain's gonna be far different than this. This obviously is just walking on, this obviously just walking on the uh, uh, paved, Path, albeit not not well paved, but paved. Um, and I try to walk on the grass as much as I can. There's a fence next to me here, so. But uh, um, there's also going to be an elevation difference, uh, oxygen depletion at higher elevations, uh, elevation and sorry, elevation gain and loss. It's all going to play a role, especially the downhills playing a role on joints, knees and ankles and such. Um, but you know, I'm going to get as much training in like this as I can. This is what I have available to me. I can also go into the mountains, but I'm looking at, you know, a couple hour drive to get out into the mountains for a couple hour walk, which isn't really, uh, isn't really ideal, I guess. But I will do a couple of those as well, just to kind of mix things up and add in some elevation gain and loss and, you know, hiking up through mountains, rivers crossings, stream crossings, such things. Did a lot of that this summer. Um, so I'm fairly comfortable with that. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna put the camera away, keep walking. You can see what it is I'm walking with right now. Uh, Saturday, there's a lot of people out, you know, cycling and walking out with me. Uh, a couple of runners earlier, a couple of people just down by the lake, just staring at the water. Well, this time of the year is ice. It's about uh, zero degrees Celsius right now. Maybe one, maybe two in the sunshine, but it's pretty cold. And it's windy, obviously, you can hear that. All right, I'm going to get back to her, catch up to you in a little bit. Well, it's uh, starting to get dark out, sun's already set, and uh, I'm now two hours and 40 minutes into my hike, so I'm 12 minutes over from last week. Um, I'm almost here though, almost to the end, or to the start, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's cold. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but you can see every breath. You see my ears are, cheeks are red. Yeah. I've probably got, uh, I don't know, three or four minutes before I get back to the car. Um, it's been good. I, uh, experiencing some discomfort, let's call it, in my right foot. Uh, I had some last week too. Um, I was like, I'm gonna do a bit of an experiment here. I found one of my, an old box, in an old box, a, uh, one of the Gobi, Joby Gorilla tripod dealies. So let's get it out of the pouch here.
it's one of one of these things the bendy legs and I just got one of those cheap uh, what do you call or cell phone mounts that goes on it so I'm just gonna hold the tripod by the legs and just see how well that works so I've got the uh, tripod uh, let's call it uh, two-thirds arm extension but uh, let's have a look at this view yes that's uh that's where I've been hiking I see uh, what you're seeing right there was the other side of the uh, the reservoir where I hiked around anyway so this is this is the tripod at full extension see there's quite a bit of bounce this is uh, give or take half uh, I think this is the right spot. Yeah, this is the right spot. And uh, there's a little bit of wind, but I just kind of want to see what what it all sounds like and whatever with a little bit of wind and the camera on the tripod. So now I'm holding it basically at the bottom of the camera, the bottom of the mount that holds the uh, the phone, not on the legs see the difference in the bounce a little jiggle anyways I can see my car now so I'm at two hours and 43 minutes I'm gonna stop the timer the same spot that I was standing when I started it and right here Whew. two hours 43 minutes 56 seconds so let's call it 244 anyways I'm gonna set the tripod down take off the backpack All right, well, that was another good hike. Just uh, feel a little bit, a little bit of a hot spot on my right, uh, the ball of my foot, just behind my right toe, uh, my right big toe. Um, no blisters this time that I can feel. Mm. My leg doesn't feel as sore. My right leg doesn't feel as sore as it did last week. That's a good thing. Uh, so I think I'm making progress. And uh, see how that goes. But I'm going to head home. Have a hot shower. Do it again next week. Alright everybody. I'll see you again.